Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code after a long time. Today in this video, we are going to see a small demonstration on my thoughts actually. So these are like my thoughts. So I see a lot of people say that uh, uh, test automation is not good. It will never, uh, uh, it will, it, it never can suppress the human intelligence, which is true. I agree with that, but, uh, there are certain things we have to understand how test automation actually works. So we might have uh, done like uh, the explore, exploratory testing or the ad hoc testing in our uh, work in a daily basis, right? Or not in even daily means, of course, like whenever we have time, we of course do the ad hoc testing. So the concept of ad hoc testing is like you, you will explore the uh, application and you will try to find out uh, scenarios or you just do something random and you try to find the bugs right similarly we can say uh, exploratory both are informally like very same but one follows with the structure and one doesn't follow with the structure we'll talk about that maybe in uh, another video now i want to give you a simple demonstration today like uh, how automation actually can help you and what are the things we should improve to make our test automation worth so for example let's take the simple uh, simple fake store application so here we have a uh, list of products and there are a couple of products and uh, we can click on any product we can go there we can uh, read the description we can see the price we can add to cart and if we have this uh, snack bar that is like confirmations and we can go to the cart and we can increase the quantity we can decrease the quantity we can do uh, delete or check out and of course we have this uh, login logout features as well right so typical test case if you want to write very quickly without thinking of much i believe probably you can write this 14 test case which is very uh, uh, anybody can write actually so doesn't matter how experienced you are or how or refresher anybody can write this right so for example in the login we can uh, we can test with valid credential we can test with invalid credentials and if you are using the local storage or firebase auth or any kind of storage sessions probably we'll go to our dev tools applications and we'll check those check those things right so that is like kind of uh, advanced level and if you are already logged in we will open the page or refresh the page to see whether the sessions is uh, there or not right similarly for products we can just go to product we can view the product details we can uh, like there is a add to cart button so we'll check that and then in the cart items we can view the cart items we can increase the quantity we can decrease the quantity we can remove the product we can do the checkout similarly for navigation so if you are going from one page to another if you click on the back it should go to the uh, respective pages all those things we will check and of course there is logout and clear cards on logout so these things are there right again this is clear cart on logout is uh, depends on the application behavior so each and every application is different right now this is the very basic fundamental so it will take like roughly uh, 30 to 1 hour based on your experience to test all these things but when we say ad hoc testing that's different right so that will take time eventually you have to understand your application you have to come out of your test cases now there is another debate like test cases are also not needed I'm going to create a video on this uh, stay tuned for that and few things are up coming in our channel which I wanted to create for a long time but I didn't do that but I'm going to try all those now from now onwards okay now coming back to our actual topic so let me just go and uh, let's see what are the test cases we can automate right so first thing of course let's uh, spin our VS code I'm using playwright by the way but if you are going to use selenium or cypress whatever it is it's going to be mostly same so in the login we have just a positive flow so we are going with the happy path we are passing our username credentials and we'll just uh, checking the url so of course it's a good test at least we can say good test because this is very minimal thing right and then we have product specs where we have like um we are just going to the uh, application we are doing the login we are going to the uh, home page and we are doing the first product and we are adding to a cart we are just checking if the snack bar is there or not right so this is your typical test that we write in our automation and similarly we have this cart test uh, so where we can use i can modify the cart and check out right so here we have few of the 
test and if you are in automation of course you know this is a good automation actually so we have covered all the basics now there is a problem and there is a solution also i will come back to that in a moment okay um so what i'm going to do i'm going to just run the test so let's go and run this now okay so i'm going to run all the test and i'm i have worker of uh, four but of course we have three tests that means it's going to run in parallel now one of the great feature of automation is like you can do in parallel whereas as a human of course you cannot do that right so human cannot do multiple works at the same time that's really something uh, automation can help you to do that now see the basic test is done if i have to follow the, if i have followed the test cases correctly and i have implemented in my automation i don't have to waste my time running the same test again and again in your regression or so one thing people do not understand is like they think that we as automation engineers we do not test anything rather we just write the code and we will try to execute that's not the case actually sometimes yes sometimes yes because the test is already done by someone we have all the test cases we just have to convert in into script that is what primary task of your test automation engineer now of course good automation engineers or any automation engineers definitely they will try their uh, themselves one at least once and if there is something missing or they can enhance the test cases definitely they will do i prefer to do that so mostly people will do but some people are on linkedin <laughs> they were like automation engineers do not know anything about the application they just convert the script primary goal is that so that your work as a manual tester your work work will be less okay now coming to, coming to the point so this 14 steps if i have to follow and do it by myself manually manual testing okay i will come back to the manual testing in another video so um basically it will take 32 one hour again it's a simple application i know this so i can just say based on your application your um, setup it might be get different right now if you see the automation it just completed within minutes so since we are running in parallel and the test case is also not that big so of course it's a really easy one right now let's spin up the results Uh, so I'm going to bring the reporter. Just give me a second. <clears throat> yeah. So we have a uh, three test, a uh, card spec. Uh, within that we have another. Uh, I mean three features and uh, totally like we have multiple scenarios. I can say. So uh, this one is basically actually skipped one, so we cannot see that. So you can modify card. So you you, you can see the steps here. So it entered the username, password. It did the login. It went to the home page, and then there it just click fix store, and then it click on the first card. It click on the add it to add to cart button, and then it increase the value. It decrease the value, and it does the checkout. That's right. So that is the basic increasing and decreasing of a cart. So that's the thing. I didn't add the uh, some checkups of the amount or anything. So yeah, this is the very basic script. Now similarly, if you go to the login spec, you can see like we have this uh, steps where we have entered username, password, login, and that's it, right? And then here we have this product spec where we have like uh, again same enter username, password, login. And we are going to the home page. We are clicking on the fake store. We are clicking on the add to cart button, and we are checking whether the uh, snack bar that is the confirmation is coming or not. Now, of course, this test can improve a lot. So, if you see all the tests, I'm doing the login, which is repeating. So, we don't have to do that. We have the storage state concept. We can use the cookies. We can do it in multiple ways, right? So, how to enhance it? Probably in some another video. We'll just skip for now. Now, let's go back to the actual scenario here. Now, you understand? Like we have the test cases. We followed the test cases, and based on that, we have written our automation. So. we have a like if i am going to do the same test again in my regression in the upcoming sprint then i don't have to do this do this manually because already i know what are my test cases what is the expected what is the actual outcome we are going to get and based on that we have written our automation test so our time is really saved that is that is what like your return on investment of your automation right so that's fantastic now when we go and see the actual application we try to do the ad hoc testing let's say we are just going to this one we are going to add to cart and i'm going to my cart and in the automation i just said like increase the count and then decrease the count that's it right 
but when we do ad hoc testing let's say that i'm just going to click on click on click on click on click on click on and boom one more time yeah and boom and now see here's you can see this is bad one right so who is going to pay this much right so this is basically a bad uh, of course your manual testing is bad of course your automation test suite is also bad because decimal point can be like two not than that so this is of course a not good idea so does your automation failed here no not at all please understand automation means it doesn't do automatically everything whatever we are going to write at a code that's going to execute it by the machine that is what automation now here test cases are there if the scenario is covered here probably as automation engineer test automation engineer i can cover that as a script then of course there isn't any problem right so for example let's go to our uh, test script once again so the card spec so here already i have added the same scenario so i'm going to remove the skip here so here you can see like now since i know what is the drawback of my test cases so now as in that i have added the test cases of adding uh, a product to the cart for multiple times maybe like instead of just one or two i'm just going to do multiple times so in my case i have taken like nine steps and i'm doing the increase quantity now since i know that i am aware of the scenario i have converted into the automation script now if i go and execute the script here let's see what happens okay so here you can select the test case of course fail and if you go and see the reason let's see so here uh, we can see like it added like it click on the plus button for nine times and then here we can see like we have the error message of course this error message is not readable so we'll go to our errors and here we can see like the expected is two decimal point but received a 30 so yeah of course we can add a lot of text to make it very proper assertion i'm just for the sake of a demo i have just given like expected and received okay i hope you got the idea so here we are expecting two decimal point but we have 13 decimal point so previously what we missed does our automation didn't work properly not at all not at all not at all so the test scenario was not covered so i am myself as an automation engineer i didn't add the test cases that's the difference so when your test cases are proper when you uh, like of course you can find lot of things in the ad hoc testing but once you are done with the ad hoc testing instead of just creating a bug and just fixing it just convert that into a test case and give it to your automation engineer they will convert it as a script so next time you don't have to repeat the same ad hoc at least the same scenario your automation is covered okay so that's the best thing of automation if you know how to use it properly you are going to make a very good deal and your return of investment is going to be very good why i'm talking about this roi suddenly and why test automation is worth or not because i see a lot of things that are going on the linkedin which i personally i don't like so few of the things i wanted to cover very beginning uh, but i didn't so maybe hereafter i will just at least i will tell my thoughts if you have any uh, argument in a healthy way just do let me know in the comments i'll be very happy to uh, learn from yourself and also if there is any clarification probably i will definitely i will give in another video or in the comments okay so i hope my point is clear now um your automation is worth if you can write it well so for example here also in this particular scenario it's just a small test i have written there are a lot of improvements are there we can even reduce the time okay so we'll talk about those maybe in upcoming videos for now i think whatever i have in my mind i have conveyed that properly but of course is uh, your takeaway however you want to take it okay so that's it for this video thanks for watching see you in the next one reason Tada, bye bye take care and of course uh, if you have any healthy comments healthy arguments give me uh, in the comment box i'll be happy to read and understand if i am doing something wrong but if you're just going to argument automation is not good at all prove me i will show you my arguments so that's it bye bye